energy that is channeled by individuals and groups in the area of religion and zoning in this country. And when it comes to sharing positions of authority, is unnecessary. We forget conveniently that we are supposed to be one people, one nation, one destiny under God. It does no good to the people when religion and where we come from dominates and becomes the fundamentals in our discussion. How difficult is it for us as a people to do away with recurrent negative sentiments other than placing merits at the center of our discussions and decisions. Why now do they want a Muslim, Tinebu, to succeed Buhari, who also is a Muslim, after eight years in power? Hypocrites always exhibit Dumbo standard tendencies. If they are saying that San Law is not coming back for a second term, remember, that was what he did to, um, what was his name? The governor he took over from. So what goes around comes around. This is all part of politics for you. This rumor is only preemptive by some people to whip up religious sentiments for their interest. They just want to use this as a probe to gauge or pick up signal and confirm if there is any such plans. Wasn't someone law part of the emergence of the new shaman? Greetings once again is another week to be hopeful and also to be thankful to all my amazing subscribers. The reality is sometimes you lose and you are never too good to lose. You are never too big to lose. You are never too smart to lose. It happens, and that is life. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Rumors that Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwon Law may serve a single term became heightened at the weekend following the conduct of the State Congress of the All Progressive Congress, APC, which witnessed the election of new executives that would pilot the affairs of the party in the next four years. In the Congress, held at the Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Onika on Saturday, Pastor Cornelius O.J. Labi, a former commissioner for rural development, was elected as a new chairman of the Lagos State chapter. Prior to the Congress, many had wondered why Alaji Tunde Balogu, the former state chairman of the party, was not returned for another term in spite of his performance in office. Speaking with Delhi Independent on Sunday, a credible source and chieftain of the party said the development may not be unconnected with the plot by some power brokers, especially in the Governor's Advisory Council, led by Asiwaju Bola Tenebo, to deny someone law a second term. According to him, the rumor that there was an unwritten agreement that someone law, who is a Christian, will only serve one term in order to complete the four-year term, which former governor Akinwumi Ambode began in 2015, may have been given credence by the outcome of the Congress. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. He said the belief in some quarters is that Balogu was dropped so as to accommodate a Christian as chairman, as a Muslim will be picked as governor in 2023. Shedding further light, he said, Balogu's continuous stay will mean that both the state party chairman and governorship candidate are Muslims, a situation which the party leaders are trying to avoid. 
Nobody can say this is why Alajiba logo was dropped, but I was at the convention yesterday, Saturday, and I heard some of our members saying, Governor Sanwan Law will serve a term and a Muslim will replace him because by 2023, he would have completed the two terms allocated for a governor of Christian domination, which began with Ambody. If a Muslim becomes the governor in 2023, that means both Muslims will occupy two key positions in the party. Hence the need to get a Christian on board as the state chairman. I am not saying that is their reason for doing so, but it is the belief of some party members, especially those conversing second term for the governor. However, speaking with Daily Independent, a serving commissioner in someone lost cabinet despite the rumor saying the outcome of the congress has no political implication on the governor's political future he said i don't think the outcome of the congress has any political implications for us the man ojelabi was chosen by the majority of the party members based on his pedigree and some other considerations apart from that insinuation that they wanted Christine as chairman because a Muslim governor will emerge in 2023. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Also speaking, a former Reps member and Alaji Balogu may have been dropped given the fact that he is from the same senatorial district as Governor Sanwalo. He also added that the outcome of the Congress has nothing to do with someone law's second term. I don't think the outcome of the Congress has anything to do with the governor and maybe he will get second term or not. The party chairmanship and governorship position are two different positions. Also, there is no law that says the party chairman and governor or even president cannot belong to the same religion. As you can see in APC, President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Mai Buni, the national caretaker chairman of our party, are Muslims. The party chairman and governor are not running on the same ticket, and they are two different positions entirely. If it is governorship election and APC feeds both Muslim as flag bearers and running mates, people may have a basis for complaining. On why Balogo was denied a said, I really can't say why Alaji Balogo was denied a second term, but it could be as a result of the zoning. The chairmanship position was zoned. I think the leaders agreed that the governor and party chairman shouldn't come from the same zone. Governor Samuel Law is from Central Senatorial District and the party chairman is also from Central. Now they want to decentralize it so that the party chairman will come from Lagos West since the governor is from Central and secretary of the party is from Lagos East. If Governor Samuel Law performs well, which I think he is doing, then it deserves a second term and I believe the party leadership won't deny him. If you recall, even the Speaker of the House of Reps, Femi Bajagbamila, recently said he deserves another term. We are all crying that we should move away from all these mundane issues of tribe, religion, and other things that is drawing us back from making progress. This is Lagos, center of excellence. If other states are doing so, Lagos should be different. Is said why is it that at this point religion of party chairman and governor has never been raised as an issue it has only been that of governor and deputy governor because i remember tinebu and fashola are both muslims they serve eight years ish god have mercy on nigerian please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please Hit on the notification button for more updates. I remember your number one news blog. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.